Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us on AOS matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway. And today's starting pitcher, James Caprillion. Yeah, his ERA last year was a little worse than average, so definitely be looking for better results this season. You know, one of the keys is just being able to have a consistent delivery and to be able to repeat that delivery so you can hit the spots that you want to hit and have a higher chance of being successful. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's the shortstop at the play, Elvis Andrews. The pitch. That ball one ball not ball close. Ball. And that's ball one. Next ball one ball is ball off the play. Count. Two balls, no strikes to count. Next ball offering down. down in the dirt. And yeah, the 3-0 finds his own. In for a strike. Now it's three and two. That's out to center field. And there's one down. There's Tony Kemp. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bunt. Next offering is fouled back. One down, one down. And down on strikes. That's the second out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at bat. Just came right yeah. after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. And now Matt Olson up to hit. The right hander back to work. Line drive. Ward makes the catch, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the A's. And it remains one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, and here is Matt Chapman. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. And he takes a strike. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. 0-2 oh, now. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. Got him swinging. Chapman is gone. And now here is Austin Allen. The pitch. There's the strike. Here we go. Good eye right there. Left-hand batter waits. Three. Got him looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Already three strikeouts here in the early part of this start, so I think the guys further down in this lineup might need to take notice, take some notes, yeah. share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate, or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. And now Chad Pinder. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the A's are gone in order. They're down 1-0. And welcome back. Here's Steven Piscotti. Leading off for the A's, the right fielder, Steven Piscotti. Otani back to work. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. Not a swing you want to watch again. Right-hander kicks, deals, stays alive. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's one down. Jeremy Ironman up next for the A's. The pitch. That's to third. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Batting up, the center fielder. And here is Sky Bolt. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Fought off foul. But this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Oakland goes quietly. Nothing doing there for the A's. They still trail 1-0. Ready to go, bottom four. Digging in for Oakland, Elvis Andrews. Not shortstop, Elvis Andrews. And a pitch. That Check one misses, out. and it's one to no. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball two. Fouls one off, two and two. And a pitch. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. Quite the start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Next up for the A's, Tony Kemp. Two hits in 13 at bats of the series so far. And that's in there for strike one. The Athletics still looking for their first hit in this one. Next offering upstairs. One down, one down. Next one misses. It's two and two. One down, base is empty. Walsh on the move. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Now, this pitching staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. Two outs, base is empty. Striding to the plate now for Oakland. Matt Olson, hitless in the series so far. In there for strike one. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Next offering is in for a strike. The A's yet to pick up a hit here. Swing and a miss. And he got him. The big right. He strikes out the side. And one, two, three go the A's. Still behind by a 
Back here in the East Bay, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the third baseman, Matt Chapman. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Here's your one. Fouled off. He was late. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Got him. One down. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And, you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Now, Austin Allen. Hey. In there, and it's 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Chad Pinder now. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Otani back to work. This to center field. Trout makes the catch, and that'll do it. A's go quickly and quietly there, and it remains one. Back in Oakland, where we go bottom six, digging in for Oakland, Stephen Piscotti. Hey, nobody went. And here it comes. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. I'm go. impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Nope. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. That one misses in the dirt. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's hey, one, internal man. clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Line to left, pulls it in on the run. And there's two away. The center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Next up for the A's, Sky Bolt. He's 0 for 1. The wind and the pitch. And there's the strike. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1 and 1. Two outs. And one and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. And down on strikes he goes. And that'll do it. And the A's are gone in order. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Bottom of the seventh. Here's Elvis Andrews. I mean, these guys know they have to get going out of the gates, but you're not going to hear a skipper. You're not going to hear people really say that. Because this game's hard enough, and you know you try to minimize the pressure that you put on yourself or that you take in from outside. So, you know, sticking to the plan, the process every day, coming in, doing your work, uh, making the adjustments you need to make, and just focusing on the task at hand that day. No ball, two Establishing strikes. both ends of the zone is critical. Most times, guys are wanting to get hitters out down, but if you can get them to look up, get a called strike, that's going to make that strike zone a lot bigger. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Now that the second baseman. Tony. Here's Tony Kemp. Yeah. Come on now. Get us two balls. Otani right back to work. All ones the count. Hey, no outs now. 
And now the 1. And there's a ball. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. They say it went. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Nobody out. Runner at first. On the ground, right side. Oh, he gloves it. Fired to second. On to first, save. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. No, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. High fly ball out into left center field. Marsh drifts towards it, and there's two away. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. Here comes a pitch. Close, but called a ball. And that's ball one. And because of that big power arm, he's able to play a little bit deeper, make throws from the outfield grass all the way across the diamond, and still get a pretty good runner. That's impressive. And the right-hander deals. Nope, that's a ball. Off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Next one just misses. Three and two now. This one in the air right field. Makes a nice running catch. And that will end the inning. The A's strand one. It's five. Bottom of the eighth. And now here's the A's catcher, Austin Allen. The, catcher, Austin Allen. the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. And the righty deals. Ball. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Makes the grab one down. And now Chad Pinder. And a pitch. Strike one. That one is upstairs. One out. We got one. And he deals. Strike two. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And. That really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Here's Steven Piscotti. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Next offering is foul back. Two down, nobody on. Got him. That's the third out. Nothing doing there for the A's. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, Jeremy Ironman. The designated hitter, Jeremy Ironman. The pitch. They say it went. The next offering misses. And the count even 1-1. One one. Next pitch has popped up. 
Otani makes the catch and a quick out number one. Now batting the center fielder Scott Bolt. Sky Bolt up next for the A's. Hey, we got one here. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And now just two outs away. Bounced out to short. Wade picks it up. Whips it across. And they're down to their last out. Now batting. Not shortstop. Elvis. Andrews. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the A's, Elvis Andrews. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. What is that one here? And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Well, what's amazing that he's just now about to throw his 100th pitch. I mean, that's something that he can be really proud of when this thing's over. Hey, two here. Is just one strike away. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels take the finale here. They win the series three games to one. Five nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.